Mark, we're here at Black Expo. It's a new machine from Nucon. Can you tell us about it, please? Yes, this is the Rex 315 6 kilowatt. Mm -hmm. It's got a uh, power of 6 kilowatt that goes up to a maximum of 8 kilowatt. You can have a 2 kilowatt to start off with. And the beam is uh, 3 meters by 1.5 meters. Mm -hmm. It has Beckhoff CNC control, servo amps, and drives. Mm -hmm. So, so premium stuff, you know, you're not putting cheap things into the build. This premium stuff, premium frame, premium made and premium quality components. It's worth mentioning, you see this beautiful machine, but if you take all the guards off, well, you know, what's the build quality like? It's really important on the laser. Yes, they're machined in their own factory, Nucon, in Turkey. And they're uh, welded together and they're, they're heat treated, annealed, and then machined again and assembled in Turkey and then calibrated before delivery. So if you look at your competition, where, where do Newcom win in the UK? I know you've got multiple machine sales in the UK now. You know, how have you got those orders? How do you compare with some of, the, uh, some of your competition? You've got quality components, uh, good, uh, they've got their unique cutting head where they, they've, uh, they develop their own cutting head, Newcom head, so the head can be, uh, lenses can be replaced inside the unit rather the head taken off uh, and replaced. You can do it internally on, on the machine. Uh, with the Beckhoff software they've got their own parameters so they can also supply cut line which is its own uh, variable, unique variable beam. So the, uh, the laser beam can be from 35 microns up to 380 microns. Most units are uh, 100 microns. So where's the benefit? Is it correct to say you can go lower kilowatt to, for, for, for thicker material? Two kilowatt will, will cut up to 15 mil mold steel. And obviously this one is six kilowatt and this will cut 25 aluminium, stainless and mold steel. So you know, what's the big advantage of using less kilowatt? Obviously less power is the big one. Less power. Uh, most customers will buy a larger kilowatt machine for faster operation. So the more kilowatts you have, the, the faster the machine can, but you can also cut thicker material. So two kilowatt is a, an ideal starter where you can cut up to 15, 16 mil mold steel uh, without any problems. And you've got to so say you've got multiple machines in the UK now. What, what's the feedback, you know, in terms of the reliability, the breakdown? You know, I know you've got a servicing background. What's your opinion and what's the end user's opinion? Well, we've got a service division that's been trading for about 20 years, since 2001, the repair press brake shears, punching and CO2 lasers. Uh, when I first introduced the Nucon laser in 2016 into the UK, we've installed uh, two at the start of 2016 and we haven't been back only due to the warranty service. We've explained to the customer how to lubricate, how to clean the machine, how to change the water in the chiller, all simple operations that the operator can do, weekly maintenance, monthly maintenance and yearly maintenance and we've truthfully not been back to these machines since we've installed them, apart from doing a, a, a yearly service. I, I think you've just hit on something you know, we, we, we should push on really. You say you've got a service department. So selling, selling a laser of any description, it comes with a compromise, it may come with issues. Is, is it fair to say, because you, you're the owner of the company, you've got a service division, you can react very, very quickly to, to any issue should they arise? Yes, well, I'm, a, I'm also a service engineer, so I'm a machine doctor, but I'm also the managing director, so I have to get me overalls on and my boots on and help repair them. But with the Nucon brand, we have had no problems apart from operator training and using the software and uh, yearly maintenance agreements. Just finally, to conclude, we're talking about fibre and the Nucon heads. Uh, some machines, you know, let's be honest, they're going above 10, 10 kilowatt now, these fibre machines. But that comes with a lot of problems. That comes with heat. How, how, how do Nucon dissipate the heat? There's a lot of sales at the moment with 10 kilowatt lasers in the UK. The benefit is the speed. But if you're going to try and cut 25, 30 mil with 10 kilowatt all the time, your head's going to start to get hot. Uh, Nucon uh, go up to 8 kilowatt, the head itself will use, will cut up to 12 kilowatt in the future, but the head itself is water cooled. And another thing to note, automation. The branding's very similar. It, you know, is it a new car branded or is it third party? It used to be third party, but uh, with software issues and connection, Nucon developed their own 
automation, so you can have a, a tower, a compact lift, or a, an end lift uh, to, to bolt onto the machine in the future. So next year, the year after, you can make it automated, light out. And we have uh, machines in Holland at the moment that are fully automated without any problems. So if I, was, if I bought, you mentioned some of your, your early machine tool sales, presumably they didn't go with automation. What happens if I bought a machine and I still want automation? Is it too late? Never too late. You can always add on automation in the future. That's brilliant. Well, it's been an education. I say aesthetically, I think they're stunning. And I wish you well in the UK and good luck for Newcon. Thank you very much.